must return to noise But not right now, no, not right now The sky must be enjoyed Fighting, I'm fighting for Fighting for my life Fighting, I'm fighting for I'm fighting for multiply our years but here to stay I am here to stay my eyes are bright and clear I'm fighting I'm fighting for I'm fighting for my life fighting I'm fighting for I'm fighting for Forcing me awake Dust and quiet Rake the ground That I have claimed Where I'm fighting I'm fighting for my life so much to be thankful for and so much to be forgotten there's no perfect secret to the things that bring us joy ha ha to the old year goodbye to the cold fear gonna cry when I need it smile My
Don't hold your breath. Don't hold your life. Even though I let you down. Even though you know me now. Don't blink an eye. You'll be surprised. I got caught up in the storm. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Hey, everybody, welcome. Um, if you were standing and milling around and you're looking for a seat, there are wonderful seats right up here up front that have not been taken yet. So um, we would highly recommend it. And I see a red light on the camera, which means we're live. Are we live? We're online right now. Um, my name is Andrew Peterson. It's really good to be here with you guys. Thank you for being uh, a part of the local show. Um, so I usually do this just to kind of like um, encourage you to be a little rowdy. So when I say welcome to the local show, you guys hoop and holler, okay? So welcome to the local show, everybody. So, uh, so I'm going to do that one more time, only do it even more so. So welcome to the local show. Yeah. So that is good. So that is the level of energy that we hope that you will uh, give to the people on the stage tonight. Um, most of us are singer-songwriters, which means that we're very fragile. Um, and so just clap, come right out of the gate at the, on the last chord, clapping and encouraging uh, the people that are up here. They are some wonderful songwriters. You guys can go ahead and get ready if you want behind me. Um, the, uh, the local show is uh, one of the ministries of The Rabbit Room. Um, the Rabbit Room, our mission statement is the, the Rabbit Room cultivates and curates stories, art, and music to nourish Christ-centered communities for the life of the world. Um, and so that means a whole bunch of things. It means that we have a publishing house and we have uh, we have uh, published like 30 or 40 books at this point. We have a conference that we do every year. Um, uh, this year, uh, Hutchmoot will be in October, and it'll be the first time in three years that we've been able to do it, which is we're very excited about. We have a, there's another conference that happens over in the UK. Um, there are all kinds of things. So if you want to know more about the Rabbit Room, um, go to rabbitroom.com. That's probably how you got tickets for tonight. But one of the things that we, we would like to remind you of is that um, there, the Rabbit Room is a nonprofit, and uh, we are very grateful for our members. There is a whole bunch of, a small army of people who are Rabbit Room members who pay $25 or more a month to kind of help support this and make things like this happen and make them affordable and allow us to pay the musicians well and that kind of thing. So if you're in the room and you are a Rabbit Room member, will you clap for us? Really quick. Okay, let me. That's that's weird because that now you're feeling self-conscious. 
Let's just do this. Let's just clap for the members to show them how grateful we are. There you go. I'm very thankful. Um, so, uh, so I think that's all I want to say. We'll, we'll make a few more announcements in the second half, but we want to say thank you to Ronald Blue Trust for uh, being part of underwriting this, uh, this uh, show. And is there anybody else, Chris Thiessen, that I'm forgetting to thank right now? Okay, cool. We'll, we'll save more later. So I'm going to introduce these guys and then get out of the way. Uh, we have um, right here my dear friend, Mr. Andy Gullihorn. Please welcome Andy Gullihorn. We, uh, he's one of the best songwriters you're ever going to hear and one of my favorite people on earth. Next to him is his wife, Jill Phillips. Please welcome Jill Phillips. Uh, I've, I've had the honor of knowing Jill and Andy for like two decades. We've made music together for a long time, and that is one of the great gifts of my life, is to have long friendships like that. So very grateful that they are here. Jill is amazing. Um, and then over here, we have um, two young friends. Hi. Re relatively new friends. Right behind me, this is Thomas Austin. Tom is a, a singer-songwriter that I've become a huge fan of over the last year or two. Um, and then Gabby Grace is here. Please welcome Gabby Grace. I met Gabby through, uh, through my daughter, Skye, who's a songwriter, and she came home one day raving about this awesome person she'd gotten to hang out with, and we put Gabby on in the house and have just been um, so blessed by her music. And I don't, we didn't get to meet yet. Hi. Oh, Come in, dear. <laughs> this is Corey. <laughs> Staring into each other's eyes Over their glasses of water Singing ooh. And a short order cook Heading back to the grill To flip their burgers over Singing ooh. And a woman with a missing front tooth And a crooked smile down in the ink cash in her apron, getting ready for closing time, singing. Kids to arrive for their monthly visit. Singing ooh. And a woman walking around the gate picking up the trash and abandoned papers. Singing ooh. And a man in a camouflage jacket is holding his wife. He's trying to convince her that it won't be their last goodbye Singing
Well, maybe you came with a sad melody ringing in your heart. Ooh. Or maybe your notes are like flickers of hope trying to light the dark. Mm -hmm. oh, but I bring stories of my own from a broken if we dare to open up to each other, I think we'll find that we're all singing. We're all singing. We're all singing. We're all singing. We're all This is an old song I haven't done in a while, probably years. Um, but it's called By a Thread, and it just felt right tonight. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me, but there you go.
stage How is everybody feeling? Please don't answer that I'm singing And it's rude to interrupt While I play But it's really great to see you I would stick around to meet you I'm afraid that we won't have enough to say Cause you're out there And I'm on stage I'm on stage But please don't think that you're below me I prefer the term unworthy I'm just kidding, that's a joke Now back to me Most of you don't even know me I get nervous, is it showing? I'm just kidding, nerves are for people who don't go on stage that's not me Cause I'm on stage And how I love to be reminded Of how special I must be Even though I don't believe it When the light is not on me So I keep on writing songs and hopes that someone's listening to me singing all about myself today while I'm on stage I'm on stage every moment since I got it I don't feel it while I'm on it but the moment that I'm I start to pay In loneliness and boredom And I can't tell if it's normal Or if I'm the only one on Instagram Who feels this way Like I'm on the stage And I know of how special we must be Even though we don't believe it Unless we broadcast everything And I'd love to play the prophet But I know the problem's me Plus I don't know what I'd do for half the day Unless I'm on the stage But I know someday I'll sing this When there's no way to distinguish Between the singers and the crowds And on that day It won't matter if you like it So I'm singing this tonight To remind myself that I will be okay And put your phones away Cause I'm on stage. I don't want to go. The song is not a funny one that also hurts, and it's too, too true. Uh, the song is called "Don't You Give Up," and I wrote it when I wanted to give up on music. Holding on by the limb, just wondering if you lost your mind. But I'm telling you this don't give up the fight. Don't you give up, don't you give up on. Keep on holding, keep on holding. 
First time we were gonna get together to write songs was that like when COVID started or something else? Yeah, happened? and then I texted you and you didn't respond the second time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So I need to reach the ones he loves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joel gets that every day. Every fourth text response is a big ratio. <laughs> this is the only people. I can gra grab you one. I also got a string. <laughs> Tom's strings are probably better. <laughs> um, so, uh, I was thinking uh, about this song for a couple of reasons. One, I always, it, it, back in the green room, there's a little picture portrait of our friend Thomas McKenzie, um, a pastor since 99. And uh, when I'm in here, places that he would frequent, uh, I miss him all the time, but uh, he would always, he always took Tenebrae service during Holy Week very, very seriously and would always say, hey, I want you to write something for Tenebrae, uh, something dark, and um, it's like, awesome, I love that assignment, um, and it just so happened a little bit before Tenebrae this year, which we did, but it was quite different than when Thomas was here, there's no, uh, there are no movie clips, and it wasn't R-rated. Uh, Thomas liked doing that, uh, making it R-rated so the kids couldn't come. And uh, But I was writing uh, with my friend Philip here. Philip Vo, everybody. I don't know if you haven't heard his music, but you need to go listen to it. Um, 
And we were talking about something, and, and something he said, like, reminded me of something. I said, well, I think there's... And I, I went to my voice memos from years before and uh, found this verse, and, and uh, it fit with what we were talking about. Uh, so we finished that song together that day. And since you're here, I figured I might as well play it. I look for you in the sea of stars Some comet to light up your face Oh, but I saw nothing Guess you are Somewhere in your hiding place And I turn my ear to the road But it's all dried up, there ain't no sound Coming from your hiding place Oh, I'm trying to trust, but it's hard to And I feel like giving up Trying to find you oh. I read the words that you left behind I scoured through each holy page But now it feels like a waste of time Trying to find your hiding place chills on my arms. Um, I'm so glad to be with y'all. This is so nice. Every time I come out here, it's usually like on a weeknight, and it feels so like unexpected <laughs> in the week. It's like this feast of community and beautiful food and music and people and like the sort of the um, weekday grind. So what a gift to have this in the middle of the week. I'm really grateful. And my boys are here tonight. Uh, my daughter is working at camp. Um, right now, but our boys are back here, so, so fun. Um, well, this is an, this is another old one. I'm gonna, I don't know, I didn't, like, do this on purpose, like a Old Testament half, and, like, I don't even know. No, I'm not even gonna get, that sounds blasphemous. Um, old, old, old songs in the first half, and this is one of the very first songs Andy and I ever worked on. We met in 1994. 
1994, at Belmont University, and um, started writing songs together probably in like 96. And um, this was one that made my very first album that came out in 99, and I've always just loved Andy's guitar part on it, so we're going to give it a, <laughs> a try tonight. Why is that? Why does your eyes get big? Does that, is that pressure? I've really always hated his guitar part. <laughs> it's subpar. So um, here's a song called Dry Town. I can feel something on my face And my feet are covered with a burning sand here you guys are so good it's really good um if you guys didn't notice um i uh i've been listening to andy's music long enough um where i try to write songs that are like his sometimes uh which is why i got a couple chuckles out of that first song it was mostly due to andy's uh letting me know that it's possible to write songs that make people laugh that aren't stupid but uh yeah, this next song um, is, I, I think I wrote it maybe two years ago. I had just had um, an amazing day. Just like I did all the things I love to do. 
I played basketball, which I love to do. I might not look very athletic, and I'm not, but I love to do it. Um, and I got to sing on one of my friends, uh, like, um, he, he was debuting his album uh, um, with, uh, it was his first album with the label that he just signed with, and he was in this beautiful studio, and he invited me to come sing a couple songs with him. I went and did that, um, and then I got dinner with my friends, and it was just like, it was like the perfect day, um, and I woke up the next morning, and I just felt like a failure, and I couldn't tell you why. Um, I think there's some sort of resistance um, in the world that, like, the minute that something awesome happens, uh, at least people like me, um, who aren't entirely emotionally mature, tend to look for, like, what's the next thing that can go wrong? What's wrong about this scenario? Like, how is this not perfect? Um, and I figured it out, but I wrote this song so that you guys can learn from my wisdom. Um, I also meant to say that I wrote this. It's based on a book that I read, I was reading at the time. It's called Garden City. Um, it's by this author named John Mark Comer, and it is my second favorite book with the word garden in the title. And the first is, <laughs> is, that, is that enough? How much do I have to say to get paid? Everybody check out God of the Garden. Uh, this is called Garden City. I woke up feeling like a failure Like there's nothing worth redeeming in my bones Yesterday was everything I loved to do And still I woke up feeling like a failure alone And my window looks over a garden But these days all the weeds are overgrown Yesterday I saw them laying flowers in the dirt They'll be dead before the winter comes along And I try to take my time But it's not easy when you're living in a lie That the measure of a child is just how much he has to give to his father
Where the streets aren't made of gold, they're growing green. And the king will know my name and will remember all the days I felt that garden city grow inside. Thank you. that my guitar string was going to break. I knew it. I was pulling. I was like, this is going to happen. Uh, Y'all are so good, and it's truly an honor to be up here. Um, this song is called Wayward Safety. It was off of an EP I released last year, um, and I wrote it in college, and it's about uh, finding the good in the unknown.
Aren't these guys awesome? Yeah. Um, so uh, we're going to take a quick intermission, and then we'll do another round in about 10 minutes. First, though, I want to introduce you to Rachel. Rachel, will you wave? Actually, step forward so the people over here can see you. I'm going to make you. This, oh, she's going to, here she comes. This is Rachel. Rachel is uh, the Rap Room's hospitality coordinator. I call her the queen of the manor. She's amazing. She's, uh, she bakes and cooks and makes everybody feel welcome here, and we're very grateful. So you have prepared snacks. Will you, do you want to describe the snacks before we break? And coffee, coffee. We have coffee, decaf, and regular coffee, right? If people want it. And tea, and uh, is there any of the Rabbit Room blend tea? We have our own blend from a local tea place. They've made a Rabbit Room blend of tea, which is pretty cool. So just you guys stretch your legs, get to know each other, and we'll be back in like 10 minutes. Thanks. But still, still all I hear You better run fast, get it done Even if it takes all night I don't know what else you've been told But I'm above that And if I change my mind, it'll be alright It's not like you guys will ever be run fast To forget who I am And I don't ask twice Why you're out of with you mind to read mine Cause I needed that last week But take your time, it's not like I got somewhere to be And even if it takes all night, I don't know what else you've been told, but I'm above that. And if I change my mind, it'll be all right. It's not like run fast, don't forget who I am, and I don't ask twice. Why you're out of you mind to read mine? Cause I needed that last week, but take your time, it's not like I got somewhere to be. Put me in my 
Hello, hello. Hey, everybody. So uh, we're going to get started here. So if you can find your seats again, that would be great. Um, we're kind of uh, kind of just a little loosey-goosey tonight, and I think that's kind of awesome. Um, so thank you. Big hand for Rachel for her wonderful snacks and prepping everything. Thank you, Rachel. Um, I also want to say uh, some thanks to some other people. Chris Thiessen works for The Rabbit Room. Where are you, Chris? Where's Chris? Chris is the guy who kind of helps put together all the local shows. Give Chris a big hand. Uh, Thank you, Chris, for all your your work setting up the room. I'm sure we had volunteers helping with the room, too. We want to give a big hand to Brandon Hayes for running sound tonight. Thank you, Brandon Hayes. He's amazing. We also want to thank Garrett and Sam with Studio Bedrock. You guys wave really quick. They're the ones who are kind of helping with the live stream, all the camera stuff. So 
you folks at home watching can be thankful to them. Uh, hello. I wonder what happened. That's weird. I wonder if it was a storm. Uh, and also Lindsay. Thank you, Lindsay Patton, for your help tonight. Thank you, Lindsay. She's helping Rachel. Um, any, anybody else that I'm, I'm leaving out? I also want to say um, that we have uh, quite a few events that happen here. The local show, what we're experiencing right now, is the first Tuesday of every month. So anytime you want to like, come to a show like this, like, like clockwork, we do it the first Tuesday of every month. So check it out. Uh, let your friends know. And um, one of the things that we're doing in the Rabbit Room is a lecture series, which I, we're calling the Walt Wongren lecture, lecture Series, I think, right? Chris, is that what we're calling it? So Walter Wongren Jr. was this amazing author who um, died last year. He uh, wrote the Book of the Dun Cow and Ragman and Other Cries of Faith, a lot of wonderful books. Um, and he was a dear friend of the Rabbit Room. We got to publish a few of his books before he died. And when he uh, passed away, his wife donated his entire library to us. So some of the books on the shelves out here are from his library. Uh, we feel very honored by that. So we named our lecture series after him. Um, and so we have a couple of fun things coming up. So there's uh, Glenn Scrivener on June 17th. I want you guys to know that Glenn Scrivener on June 17th. He is an Australian guy who lives in England who I met a few years ago. And he's a wonderful, he's a poet, he's a, he's a speaker, He's an apologist. He, uh, he travels around and does all kinds of amazing, very creative, beautiful things. So he's going to be on in the States on a book release tour. So he has an event here on June 17th. He's going to come and kind of uh, give a talk from his book. So June 17th, if you want to come hear Glenn talk, check out rabbitroom.com slash events for that. And then also I want to tell you about Alan Levi. Uh, anybody know Alan Levi in here? A few of you guys do. You guys know Alan. Alan is one of the greatest people on the planet Earth. He is a... Uh, he is just one of my dearest friends in the world. Um, he was a uh, went to law school, was a lawyer for many years, then went to Scotland and studied literature and was a George MacDonald scholar for a while. And then he came back to the States and became a songwriter and worked with Young Life. He mentored Bebo Norman, if you guys know Bebo, and worked with Ed Cash. And then uh, lived in lives in his little town of Hamilton, Georgia, and became a judge, was a judge there for a few years. So, And he's a farmer and a, and a timber expert. He's this amazing dude. So I got to go meet Wendell Berry uh, several years ago, and it was with Alan. Alan was kind of like the, the ringleader, Alan and Ben May. And I got to hop in the car with Alan, who's this like very amazing older gentleman farmer guy, songwriter, judge, scholar. Or whatever. <laughs> Amazing guy. But so he, uh, Alan's best friend in the world was his brother Gary. And uh, neither Alan nor Gary ever married. They lived on the same property with each other. Gary spent a lot of years in Afghanistan doing mission work. Uh, just the most amazing storied lives these guys lived. And, uh, and Gary got brain cancer uh, several years back. And Alan, like, nursed Gary out of this life and buried him with his own two hands on their property and wrote a memoir called The Last Sweet Mile about his brother's story. And it's like if you're a fan of the book A Severe Mercy by Sheldon Van Auken, um, then this is in the same spirit. And, uh, and we got to publish the hardback version of his book a few years ago, and it is just a gorgeous book, uh, testimony to a life lived in obedience to Christ. And, uh, and so we're releasing the paperback version, kind of a, the first like, real big release of the book. Alan is going to be here at Northwind Manor on, let me find the date. <gasps> Where's the date? June 24th. Thanks, Christy. So June 24th, he's going to come. I'm sure he'll play some songs. He'll do some readings uh, from his book and be interviewed. So June 17th and June 24th, check, put those on your calendar and come back and we'll have another hangout. I'm sure Rachel will be here making something. It'll be great. So uh, that said, I'm going to turn it over to Andy. That said, I want you to join me on this song for my friend Andrew Peterson. Happy birthday to you. Sorry if you didn't want me to do that. <laughs> um, while my friend Philip is here, I want to bring him up and have him do a song for you guys. Please welcome uh, Philip Vo. Well, this is nice. <laughs> I truly had no idea this was going to happen. Oh, hey. 
sound good up here, man. Um, he's like you said, my name's Philip. That's in tune. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm just thankful to be able to. This is my first time being here or doing anything involved with Rabbit Room, and I've heard of it for a while. Mm-hmm. And the myths are true. It's great. Um, and this song I'm going to sing is one I wrote, released on my last EP called Made in the Image. So you think that you're an accident You never should have happened That everything exploded And that's why we're here today Well, I'm no scientist But one thing I do know is That when I look at you I see more than a waste of space There's a heart that's deep inside that chest I don't mean the organ I mean the metaphoric term That magic word That special something That's different You are made in the image Made in the image Made in the image The image of God You are made in the image Even if you don't believe it You made in the image The image of God Someone told you that you're not worth time That you're not worth energy out of all this everything they wish that she weren't here well i'm no therapist but one thing i do know is that when i look at you i see more than your deepest fears there's a soul that's deep inside of you and i'm not talking music i'm not talking about the blues There's a piece of your existence that I know you can't explain, but I can, and he has a name. You are made in the image, made in the image, made in the image, the image of God. You are made in the image, even if you don't believe it. Made in the image, the image of God. Oh, there are a million voices saying it's not true. Oh, I can see it clearly when I look at you. So you think that you're an accident You never should have happened And some days you wish that you Could throw it all away Well I've been there too And I just want to tell you That even when the world says leave I think that you should stay Cause you are made in the image Made in the image Made in the image The image of God You are made in the image Even when you don't believe it You made in the image The image of God You are made in the image, the image of God.
Philip Vo, everyone. All right. Um, not long ago, I was uh, doing some work with this uh, young country artist, and um, I mean, some of y'all know that I, I love country music. I grew up on it, and and I have a love-hate relationship with it sometimes. But um, I was listening to this this guy's music and. Uh, it was great, and there was some of the, you know, just a new version of kind of like what normal country songs sound like, and and this was a new version of like a, a kind of song that I like. It's kind of um, sentimental about where you grew up, like a small town, and um, I was like, oh, this is great. I, I love these kind of songs, you know, like the, the Judds, you know, Grandpa telling me about the good old days, you know, and um, but then I realized this guy is like like 20. And uh, he's reminiscing about, like, the second generation of, uh, you know, iPhones or something like that. <laughs> so it's different than what I would reminisce about. <laughs> and I also realized that he grew up not far from me. So um, I was like, that's kind of weird. That's, that's not, I've been to that place, and it's not really the way that he's describing it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I remember growing up in a little Tennessee town Long before the world went crazy, more folks started hanging around Oh, it was a different time, getting raised in the promised land All I know is my hometown made me who I am I remember cruising Main Street in my 2018 Limited edition Range Rover It's got a four-wheel drive So every once in a while I can pull up on a curb And park in the grass With a 12-pack of Trulies And some Chick-fil-A chicken A Yeti cooler with a 30A sticker Oh, life was simple back then Living in downtown Franklin City folk don't know what it's like to be a dot on a big old map. I knew every single one of my neighbors, at least the ones on the next door. Back when we had it with the golden rule, back when we had prayer in school, back when most of our trucks could run on fossil fuel. I remember cruising Main Street in my 2018 limited edition Range Rover. It's got a four-wheel drive, so every once in a while I can pull up on a curb and park in the grass With a 12-pack of Trulies and some Chick-fil-A chicken A Yeti cooler with a 30A sticker Oh, life was simple back then Living in downtown Franklin I know a time machine ain't something that's been made if it was, I'd want to travel right back to those good old days. <laughs> Cruising Main Street in my 2019 limited edition Range Rover. It's got a four-wheel drive, so every once in a while. I can park in the grass with a Young Life bookmark in my NIV. Vineyard Vine shirt and some CBD Oh, life was simple back then Living in downtown Franklin Thank you. he was going to do so I had to like choose my next song accordingly <laughs> I was going to do like a uh, like a de massive departure so I'm going to ease the transition just like a little bit um, 
So this song is on uh, a recent EP that I did. Um, I took a little break from doing music, actually not from like performing and traveling, but from recording um, to go back to school and at actually start another vocation of, um, I'm a, also a marriage and family therapist. And so kind of took four or five years off of recording. And it was such a gift to get back in the studio this year with Ben Shive, another friend of the rabbit room and of Andrew. Um, and it, we just had a great time, um, like writing these songs and, um, just he, Ben wrote some of the songs with me. I wrote some, wrote some with Andy, but just imagining them and kind of melding these two worlds that I have of, um, uh, in some ways the public and the private and, um, what it's like to uh, bear with people in their pain and um, hold stories and also be like a purveyor of hope, um, someone who believes uh, for others when they can't believe for themselves, and I need people to do that for me. So this song um, is kind of about that. It's called Prison of the Past. Yep. <laughs> When I was in the prison of the past I heard a word from the wise Forgiveness is a thing I'm gonna need to sever the ties All the anger that I had Was just poison in me it took time and trust Patience and love to set me free thought it would work but at least for me it only seemed to make it work say if you never face it you're gonna pass it on sometimes the only way to honor the pain is to feel
Thank you, guys. Well, hey, guys. Hey. Uh, raise your hand. If you've seen an armadillo. What? <laughs> Ra sorry, let me, there's a caveat. Raise your hand if you've seen a live armadillo. Okay. This, is, this story's gonna make less sense to you guys. Uh, I saw my first armadillo last week. Um, we don't have them. I, uh... <laughs> I, uh, I grew up in Maryland, and as far as I know, we don't have them there. Um, and as far as I knew, they didn't have them anywhere. They, they had made them up. Um, and I was, uh, I was driving home from basketball. That's the second time I've mentioned, I've mentioned basketball. I'm really not good. If you, if you are like, I want to play basketball with you, I'm sorry. Uh, I was driving home from playing basketball on a Wednesday night crawled in front of my car, and from that moment on, for the past week, I've been a believer. Um, but for, I spent probably three years, I would see like dead armadillos on the side of the road, and I was like, ha, huh, that's a good prank someone just pulled, or the government was doing something. Um, I just don't think it's a coincidence that the silliest looking animal is nocturnal. Um, so they never come out during the day. And I bet you're wondering how you're gonna dig this out and play us a song. Um, uh, this is a song about belief. It's called London. <laughs> and it's not funny, I don't know why. I'd... <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to London, I'm sure that you but I've heard it described by those who claim to know it well. They say St. Paul's Cathedral stands as regal as a king. But I've never been to London, so I can't tell you anything. I've never been to London on the far side of the sea. All my friends have been there, but they've never gone with me. I'm pretty sure Big Ben still towers proudly, keeping time. But I've never been to London, so your guess is as good as mine. And they say it's real, but I've never seen. Have my faith, and sometimes I mean it. I've heard it's beautiful and busy, full of people passing through, and there are those who don't believe it. But please don't think I'm going crazy if I do. This is not about armadillos. <laughs> I've read a couple stories that were said on London streets. Been moved to tears by songs that sing of London in the spring. And I know facts can seem like fiction, and doubt can seem like faith. But since I've never been to London, don't expect me to explain. Why I know it's real, but I've never seen it. I have my faith, and sometimes I mean it. And I've heard it's beautiful and busy, full of people passing through. There are those who don't believe it, but please don't think I'm going crazy if I do. Gully 
read a guitar part to this after. And I might never see it if it is a real place. And I might not even know it if it looked me in the face. And it could be conspiracies all this has ever been. Even if there is no London, I think it's worth believing in. Even if there is no London, I think it's worth believing in. That was beautiful. That's so good. Uh, this song, Tom and I wrote together. Well, we kind of wrote together. <laughs> uh, Tom does this thing where, I won't say that. You're good at co-writing, just from afar, with voice memos. <laughs> he admits it. Uh, but um, I recently, like last year, had probably one of the hardest years of my life. I'm 25, but it was, it was a lot. And we were in a co-write, and we didn't finish a song with our other bud, Joel, and then I think a week later or something like that, Tom sends me this verse and this chorus, and I'm like crying in my car, like cool. Tom just got me. And then I finished the second verse on the road, so it was a co-write, if you want to say it was. Uh, but you're a good friend and a good listener, um, and he kind of took my words and um, made it my story. So this one's uh, called Never Knew You. It's the first time playing it, so if I cry, it's just going to happen. There are times it seems my whole life has been something like a hoax when the certainty I'm clinging to is giving up the ghost. When I'm shaking with a warning in my head and in my bones, I guess I understand it when I'm old. And my mother kept you hidden to protect me from the worst. And I tried to understand, but I was just angry. So I kept myself in silence while I tried to find the words that would make sense of the meaning of this word. Cause I love you. I Directly to their face, but I swear it's not a day for just trying to find my place. They ask me about your records, and I promise I'm not a liar. Please forgive me, I'm just trying to see who I am and who I'm not. Cause I
next song is one I, um, well, this is the last round, by the way. Thank you guys for coming. Um, and thank you guys for <laughs> tuning in. And the green camera, is, that, is it green or red? That's just shooting. I just pointed at the wrong camera. Which one is it? Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Jason and I have written a number of songs over the years, and I, I love writing with him because um, he reads a lot of books, and he brings that, and uh, he'll tell me about the books, and um, <laughs> and then I'll be like, hey, I, I heard somebody say this the other day, and I wrote it down, and uh, so this is a mixture of those things. I had this, this phrase or saying that I heard somebody say, and then uh, he had this quote, and I, I'll read the quote from... Uh, who's it from? Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, is that her name? Who, who came up with the stages of grief, I believe. Um, oh, gosh, I don't know if I can read this. Watch, I'm going to take a screenshot of it, and then I can zoom on it like an old person. Okay. <laughs> um, remember the good old days before... Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, uh... The most beautiful people we have known are those who have known defeat, known suffering, known struggle, known loss, and have found their way out of the depths. These persons have an appreciation, a sensitivity, and an understanding of life that fills them with compassion, gentleness, and a deep loving concern. Beautiful people do not just happen. Um, and he read that to me, and I was like, oh, that's, that is uh, better than any song we could write. Um, but can we please tie it with this thing that I heard the guy say the other day so I can get a song done, so. <laughs> the most beautiful people I know have suffered immeasurable loss and found their way out of the depths, richer for pay in the car. Having a dream disappear Or finding a hope paralyzed Beautiful people don't happen Overnight I believe there Is a place where We are fully who we were always meant to be How it happened all I know is no one gets there on a winning streak. I didn't know how to forgive the things that I couldn't forget. I wasn't ready to change. I hadn't failed enough yet. My self-righteousness was a wall when it came falling apart. Freedom was found in the breaking of my heart. I believe there is a place where we are fully who we were always meant to be. How it happens, all I know is no one gets there on. Like you're losing again and again, not one minute is wasted of that pain. I believe there is a place where we are fully who we were always meant to be, kind and gracious. Forgiving and patient With compassion for the wounded and the weak How it happens All I know is No one gets there on a winning streak No one gets there on a winning streak
Thank you. Thank you again to the Rabbit Room, Andrew and Jamie, Rachel, everybody for, um, Chris, everybody for hosting us tonight and for you guys for coming. Thank you so much. Um, thanks to these guys. Y'all are awesome. Really a joy to hear everybody tonight. Um, all right. I'm going to sing this whenever you're ready. I don't want to have anything to say about it. That's a first. <laughs> I guess the one short thing I will say about it is um, I feel like this song um, is like I, I need songs that um, I just need hopeful songs. <laughs> I need songs of hope. I need songs that acknowledge the suffering and don't minimize it or deny it. I don't like that. But I also like songs um, that can hold on to hope in, in spite of all of that, the stuff we've been singing about tonight. So this is a song that does that for me. And Andy and I wrote it together. It's called The Other Side. All the treasure you hold, you can't take it with you. Any silver and gold, you can't take it with you. You can make yourself. with you to the other side you could build your mansions high but you can't take them with you all your hard earned pride you can't take it with you all the plans you made to keep you sheltered and safe you can't take them with you to the other side Love Real love 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 Real love Love That day
This song, um, my brother and I, uh, my brother is like the best songwriter I know, and every time I'd sit down to write a song, I find myself asking, like, what would John do? Um, so usually I just call him and say, is this okay? And if he says no, then I go back to the drawing board. Um, we made an EP together. The funny thing is that he doesn't really release music. He just writes these killer songs and then sends them to me. I feel like I'm the steward of, like, his uh, brilliance, because I'm like the only person who ever gets to hear his songs. Um, but we did make one project together. Uh, we did like a four song EP. I wrote two songs and he wrote two songs. Um, and the EP was, um, this was before, I mean, I'm from Maryland. I didn't know music was like a thing you could do. Like I thought it was just a thing that you did, but not that you could do. Does that make sense? Um, so we just like we just fooled our money and uh, made this thing that um, yeah didn't sound the way uh, maybe we wanted it to, but like the the songs were um, from uh, from an honest place. The the point of the EP um, we wrote it for our dad about his parents. Um, they had just they um, were born and raised and lived in the small town of Indiana, Pennsylvania. It's a weird name. It's also a state. Um, it's the Christmas tree capital of the world. Uh, but Indiana, Pennsylvania, um, they, my grandpa built this like old red house. Um, well, I guess it wasn't old when he built it, but he built it and then it became old with him. Um, and we would go there for holidays and things. It's the house that my dad was raised in. Uh, and after, like he built it right after he got out of the military and then lived there his entire life. Um, and in 2017, they had to uh, sell the house to a different family and move into a nursing home. My grandma had gone blind. My grandpa had had two strokes, and my grandpa was, or my grandma was, starting to develop dementia, and he just couldn't, you know, take care of her after having suffered two strokes. So he, um, he sold the house. Uh, they had an auction. I was in college at Belmont at the time, um, so I couldn't go to it. But they. Uh, it was this weird moment where like they sold everything they had ever owned uh, and it wasn't enough to pay for the next like three years of their life. Um, and it was this moment where I was like, man, what would it be like to put a price tag on your life of what you thought was your life maybe? Um, and it's, it's not enough uh, to pay for what you think your life is going to be. And that's like a, maybe that's not the best way to put it, but um, yeah. The idea that, um, like Jill was saying, uh, there are things that we just can't take with us and there are things that we can. Um, and I like to think that maybe that house will be in the new creation. So I, uh, maybe that's wishful thinking. I wrote a song that's kind of like a tour of that house, all the things that uh, meant a ton to me um, in that house. So this song is called Spring.
story And I think I'm getting closer every day But oh, restoration's such a heavy weight to bear But all this snow is bound to fall and melt away So I'm waiting for the season heaven brings Spring Forgot and crammed in folders. I can see the memories go up in smoke. But through the color that we lost when we got older, I remember all the things that matter most. Oh, I wanna be restored, and I think I'm getting closer. But oh, restoration's such a painful handle. But I'm confident this pain's gonna be replaced. So I'll listen for the song that heaven sings. Spring. Oh. Like seeds into the field, and our sorrow soaked like rain into the ground. I believe that only then we'll see the yield with a harvest heaven sent and heaven bound. Oh. snow and all the loss and all the pain so I'm holding to the promise of the king spring being in college and really dreaming of being able to do this so it's truly an honor to be up here with all of you great phenomenal humans um i just want to point out Corey williams uh, please recognize him he's made me <laughs> 10 times better up here uh we've been doing music together for about five or six years that's true You're, yeah it's true that's a fact uh yes. but he's uh been a friend and through it all with me and um, get to write with him and do life with him and um, you should go check out his music as well um, he's great um, is it cool if I teach you guys a song yes the whole song you have to know every single lyric the chorus of a song yeah no, okay okay cool <laughs> it's okay if you don't want to I can't make you uh, but it goes something like this we'll be all
she knew the whole song. It sounded gorgeous. It's called We'll Be Alright. Gabby Grace, Corey, Hale, Thomas Austin, Jill Phillips, Andy Gullhorn. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. We're very grateful that you came. We hope to see you next time. Um, if you would do us a favor, if you want to hang out, you're welcome to hang out, but do it on the back deck because we have to reset the room. So if you what wouldn't mind, like, as we stand up, kind of gravitate that direction, and we'll see you later. Thanks, everybody. Cool. It takes me back to the place that made me sign your way When the cameras turn to face you
sky.